Now, here's your forecast first from Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro. Pretty quiet day out there for most of us, and it will continue to be a quiet evening. Temperature around 26 by 10 o'clock by tomorrow over the northern parts of our viewing area. We'll start to see some snow showers out there, just some very light stuff, and then they'll start to pick up through the afternoon. Temperatures, though, actually not going to be too cool, which we'll get into in just a second. But the severe weather index is up at moderate because, again, the northern parts of our viewing area up north of Green Bay likely going to be seeing some light snow showers. Tomorrow can make for some slick travel. Most of us, though, will be staying dry. That's really the weather story, though, is that snow that's coming for the day tomorrow. And here's a look at that with our future track. Those clouds will thicken up during the overnight hours tonight steadily but surely. And then those snow showers move on in in earnest by about 10 o'clock. They stick around through about 3 o'clock before they finally begin to pull on out as we get on through the rest of the afternoon. As we take a look at the current conditions, well, it is dry and it's actually very quiet. We saw plenty of sunshine through most locations. 32 and sunny in Green Bay, 32 and sunny as well as in Wapaka and Clintonville. A little bit cooler in Anago at 23 degrees. Marinette around 30 there and we've actually seen a couple of passing flurries up closer to the uh, Michigan Wisconsin border over the course of the day today winds up that way actually coming in out of the northwest a little bit of light lake effect actually is what that is but for the most part our winds steadily coming in out of the west those are going to start to shift around to out of the south as our next storm system approaches us there you see some of that light snow well off to our north over the very uh, far northern parts of uh, the door peninsula and then again up towards the Wisconsin border zooming out a little bit though the uh, that storm storm that's headed our way still well off towards our west but that will be sliding our way as we get into the day tomorrow winds really kicking up out ahead of it you see 33 mile per hour winds out of the southeast and pier right now 10 mile per hour winds Fargo, they haven't quite kicked up there, but what those southerly winds are doing is they're starting to raise the temperatures. They haven't quite gotten up so high yet in pier, but a little bit further off to the south, 54 degrees, and those temperatures have come up as compared to this time just a year ago. So our temperatures will be rising as well. We're going to be getting up into the upper 30s despite the fact that we see some snow pass by before cooling off on the backside of that storm as we move on through the day on Monday. In terms of snowfall totals, though, we stay dry down to the Fox Valley maybe an inch at most off towards our north. So again, not too much in the way of accumulations, but could make some travel slick. Tonight, 21 degrees, mostly cloudy for tomorrow. That light snow over the northern half of the viewing area. Winds kicking up out of the south, 15 to 25 miles per hour. So our temperatures jump up a bit, 35 degrees and partly cloudy for Monday. As we look at our extended <coughs> forecast, got another shot for snow as we move through Tuesday and on into Wednesday. That's something actually I think we should keep a close eye on actually. And as we move on into Friday, also another chance for snow. But those temperatures, if you notice, not really that cold, sticking in the low 30s for the most part. Not too bad, really. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. Thanks.